Hey there, Internet. It's Nick here. Welcome to the first video devlog for Song of Asira. This month, my work centered around a new area called the Singing Woods. This is the first open area in the game where you can explore, search for secrets, and fight monsters. So I really wanted to make sure I nailed the vibe. So let's take a walk in the woods. The Singing Woods is the first platforming-centric part of the game. You'll be doing a lot of jumping between these extended tree limbs. Creating this area involved creating a lot of new art. Most of what you see in these areas are brand new assets. The backgrounds here especially took me a lot of time to get right. The Singing Woods is made up of multiple rooms, and here's another one. What's a video game forest without some hollow logs you can hide in? And here's another room. In this area, I can introduce you to the first new monster I created. I call it a Cupine. These little critters will attempt to chase after you by climbing up trees. They can really get in the way of your platforming. When they get to just the right angle, they'll make their move. The Singing Woods is full of Highland Lilies, the material used in your basic healing spell, so you'll never be hurting for too long. Here's another new monster, the Dapperling. This poisonous mushroom hides near the ground until you get close, then pops up and sprays spores in all directions. If Elia enters the spore cloud, she'll be cursed with this slowing effect. For the next 15 seconds, your run speed and jump height will be decreased, so you'll want to cut these fungi down before they get the chance to strike. I want to show you some new things regarding the in-game clock. I've made improvements to the lighting system allowing for these dappled sunbeams. As the time of day changes, they smoothly change angle like this. Additionally, the foreground elements now change their brightness in steps rather than snapping to the new lighting level, which makes the time transition a lot less jarring. And I just want to show off how the real-time shadows interact with geometry like this hollow log. Using the Willow Fire spell lets you really play with the lighting system by making a light source follow you around. That pretty much covers everything I wanted to show you guys this month. I hope you liked the new video format. Be sure to consider joining my Patreon, where you'll get weekly progress updates in text form that go into a lot more detail than I did here, as well as MP3s of the game's soundtrack, access to our Discord chat, and more. The link is in the description. I'll see you next month with more updates. Bye!